What's up, Big Time Gang? Welcome back to another time Big Time video. This one is another farewell to another watch. This one here is going to be the 55 millimeter Android Millipede. Now, I got this watch thanks to a good buddy, uh, Mike Patrick. Um, he hooked me up with it, brand new. Um, he thought I needed that watch for my collection, and I agree I did. Um, I've had a few 50 millimeter millipedes, but this is my first Android 55 millimeter, and I love the watch. But he loves the watch a lot more than I do. So I agreed to, to give it back to him, and this is the goodbye video because uh, he collects them. He appreciates them a little more than I do. Now, don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful watch. But I'm a collector that, you know, I get stuck on certain types and certain styles. And I really follow that that style. And, and uh, I, I tend to keep collecting that style. So he's doing the same thing with his 55 millimeter uh, androids. And um, this is a watch now that he's missing. So I felt it was only right to give it back. So um, without further ado, sure it's right side up. Android 55 millimeter millipede. Now that beautiful, beautiful bracelet, man. I love this thing. Now what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna put my three 50 millimeter millipedes that I own beside this one just to show you the difference in size. And, um, you know, of course, a fa farewell to this watch as well. But uh, this one is unbeatable. So compared to my other three, they're awesome. But this one is a champ, man. So this has a SII Japanese um, NH36 movement. So as a day date, um, I have compared this before to like a, a Salida SW500. It doesn't compare because this is not a chronograph. This is just a single crown. No chronograph features on the dial where the SW500 does. But um, the day-day feature on an automatic, I love it. So this automatically drew me to this watch. But um, the carbon fiber dial, black bezel, all brushed stainless steel, case and bracelet, just a beautiful, beautiful watch. So that's this. And then we've got high polished 50 millimeter Aragon millipede. So this is Android, this is Aragon. Same company, different name, um, obviously smaller watch. So this has the same exact brace, 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 bracelet, uh, thickness, um, style, everything. This, this one's high polished, this one is not, but the case is smaller on the Aragon. And I actually really enjoy wearing these. I actually have one on the wrist right now, which is a red GMT. And then uh, an awesome buddy of mine, Greg Ward, Ward, thank you, sir. Let me say his name again because I just screwed that up too. Greg Ward hooked me up with this watch. And this is all gold, black bezel, black dial, automatic NH35 um, Aragon Millipede. So I've got this one, this one, and the one on my wrist. So I've got three that I'm keeping. And then I've got the one that I'm sending back to my buddy which is a 55 millimeter Android. So I'm gonna bring the camera over here and talk about them a little bit more. And then um, I'll do some up close photos and some music after that, or with that, all right? So I uh, hope you're enjoying the video so far, stay tuned. All right, so we're back. Now we're uh, closer to the watches so you guys can ch really check them out. Um, obviously the 55 Android is in the middle. I've got the GMT red dial, Aragon Millipede on the wrist. And then we've got the um, auto 55 mil or 50 millimeter Aragon a Millipede. And then we've got the um, GMT silver weave dial, all high polished Aragon 50 millimeter Millipede. But uh, this is the one that's going back the 55 millimeter, the big boy. And like I said before, the reason being is uh, my buddy Mike just appreciates them more than I do. And I feel it's only right for him to, to have his watch back. 
So he sent me this watch brand new. It was still wrapped. I still have the clasp wrapper on it. I never took that off. I've only worn this watch like once or twice. I mean, this thing is still completely mint. I take pride in taking care of my watches. And so with that being said, you know, I don't, I don't wear them whether they're going to get damaged. And I'm very cautious when I wear a watch. It's become second nature now to uh, walk in through a doorway and bring my arm in towards my stomach. Um, I'm very, very cautious on how I, uh, move my arm when I have my watch on. And that's, I mean, that's 20 years in the making of, of habits. And uh, a lot of people ask me, like, how do you not bang that thing on everything you walk past? And it's because I have trained myself to be cautious and be aware. And uh, I'm very, very careful to make sure I don't hurt my watch because I love my watches and I don't want to beat them up. To me, when the watch is beat up, it just doesn't look as good. And of course, you know, everybody has a beater. I have a couple that I used to call beaters, but now I have enough watches where I rotate them constantly. So I don't wear the same watch once within a month, maybe sometimes within three months. So the, the, the rotation is, is good enough to where they're, they're only on the wrist, you know, once every three months. And with that being done that way, um, you really don't have to worry too much about banging it against something because you're not wearing it daily and then daily occurrences, you know, don't happen as much. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to say goodbye to this watch. Let you guys enjoy the beauty of this watch one last time. That carbon fiber dial, man, I love it. Then, like I said, all brushed, stainless steel. These are hard to find. Android aren't made anymore. I get that question quite often. Android is not made anymore. It's only Aragon. And uh, we did a petition on Facebook a while back trying to get um, Wing, which is a designer of these beautiful watches, to bring back the 55 millimeter in the Aragon label. And uh, I don't think it uh, ended up working out. We'll see if he does or not. But um, there's quite a few people that want them. I personally could go either way. I like this. And I might buy, you know, another one if they came out, but I really enjoy the 50 millimeter as well. So, um, regardless of what happens, I'm content with what I have, but, uh, I know a lot of people, including my buddy, Mike, including Steve Dela Cruz, um, they really want this 55 millimeter to come back. So wing, if you're watching, I know at least two people that are guaranteed to buy them. Um, like I said, though, beautiful watch. Um, <clears throat> the big difference here is size. You can tell that 55 millimeters is a, a little chunkier. It's only five millimeters, but it makes a big difference on the overall presentation. And, uh, the, the comfort wise, they're, they're not too bad for 55 millimeters. It still wears very well on the wrist. But stay tuned for up close photos. Um, I'll put all four side by side because I'm wearing this one. I'll put this one down with it as well and show you all four. Um, make sure you stay tuned for those uh, photos, the music. Uh, smash that subscribe button. Turn that bell notification on so you don't miss another video. As always, have a great day and God bless. <laughs>